I would, I would say anxious to return to play. I mean, once you, I've never got had surgery before, so it was a complete new experience for me being without football. So definitely uh, uh, something I can learn from and take with me. Uh, definitely taught me a lot of patience, something I had none of before this. So grateful for it, definitely. I hate to hint on the obvious, but can you talk about why you decided to Yeah, uh, so I was selected by our teammates for uh, Big Ten Media Day, and I just felt like it wasn't best for me to represent our team there with the uh, pending investigation. So. It must have felt pretty good, though, to be selected by your teammates. Yeah, definitely uh, felt really good. I mean, I know I still, I mean, obviously I've been here in camp, so I still talk to them and see them every day, and they don't treat me any different. So I know I got the support of my teammates and coaches. So, do you have any updates on where you kind of stand at this point, or is it still? No, I, I haven't heard anything. Uh, just waiting for the NCAA to kind of release what they or their disciplinary or whatever they come out with. So, what has that been like for you? Uh, it's been uh, challenging, but also just. Uh, love that camp started because it's a way for me just to get lost in my work so definitely uh been watching a lot of film with the young guys coaching them up out here so just i just like to do that because it helps me not think about all the stuff off the field so. you know Kirk, kirk's really kind of had a couple strong statements about your character how you're one of the best you know, guys on the team and how big of a leader i guess for a coach with, while you're waiting for the investigation how much that mean to you that kirk's really been in your corner, very public about yeah, it's definitely big. It's a, a lot of reassurance of or big or reassuring, I should say, uh, to know that coach has my back. Like I said, uh, I all the guys on the team and all the coaches, like they remind me almost every day, like we're here with you. We like no matter what happens, like we have your back. So it's definitely great. It's reassuring, and I, I mean, I love Coach Ferentz just for. I mean, even before this all started, I mean, I love him so. You probably didn't. You probably didn't have to like come out here and talk today, right? I mean, I mean uh, he kind of, yeah, I'd say, kind of left it up to me. But yeah. I mean, I, I've always, uh, you guys, the media has always treated me with respect, so I wanted to do the same for you guys. So. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Anything? I mean, kind of want to say about your case that uh, you know, for fans out there that are kind of hoping and rooting for you. Uh, I can't really speak too much on it right now. I just have to wait for the NCAA to release what, they, what their disciplinary rules are. So yeah. just waiting right now. So it's so hard to like, you know, see your name in the. I don't know if you're seeing your name in the headlines, but you know your head name is the headlines out there. Like, but it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't see anything personally. I deleted all social media after I made my statement. So. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, life's been a lot better without it. I advise you guys to try it because I feel great. So. What is the, is it the shoulder still that's keeping you out right now? Or? Yeah, I actually, uh, I just got cleared by Dr. Wolf today to return okay. to practice. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm very excited about it. It's been nice. a long seven, eight months coming. So I'm ready to return and eager to get back out there. And so. I hear YA is healthy. So that's oh, good. Yeah. So I mean, you got to, I mean, while you're waiting, can you help these younger guys, Aaron and yeah. YA to... So yeah, that's your spot basically. Yeah, that's what I've uh, been doing really. Well, with YA, Logan, Aaron. I mean, they're well. Aaron's a young guy, but I mean, he plays well beyond his years. But YA and Logan, they pretty much know everything. YA is dang near like a professor of the defense. He knows everything. So really, but really, like Chase, Maddox, and Kenny. I really just been taking them under my wing, like during our team drills. Like I'm like, hey, did you guys get the call? Now watch your position, like. Just making sure they know everything and picking everything up because I feel like that's uh, where it starts at is like the playbook stuff. Like you can't, if you don't know the playbook, the coaches will never trust you to be out on the field. So. Yeah. No, you mentioned that you were clear to practice. I mean, with just you kind of being in a holding right now with the investigation, are, are they going to allow you to practice in return? Yeah, I'll, I'll be practicing on Monday. So, yeah. Who would you say um, yourself, from your point of view, could step up into that, into your position? Uh, I mean, it's it's all open right now. Coach Coach Bell likes to rotate a numerous amounts of guys. I mean, you never know who's going to be there, in there on Saturday. So, like injuries are very common with football. So, I mean, he, he does. He's been rotating a lot of guys. Like, I wouldn't say there's a specific ones right now. Like, a whole bunch of guys will play. So, I mean, let's say you're out one game, three games, six games, whatever it is. Like, how do you stay ready to? 
ready to come. I mean, you still want to like come back and contribute to this team at some point, obviously. Yeah. So. Uh, one big thing for me is uh, I've been telling myself I'm not going to let this define me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, life goes on. So whenever, I don't know what the NCAA will come out with with the ruling, but I'll be ready whenever, uh, whenever if there is a suspension. So, yeah. but yeah, uh, with time now, though, just going to put my all into these young guys. And, I mean, they probably don't like me right now because I get on there. <laughs> I just want them to be great, and I want yeah. you know them to know like when the young guys come in next year because I won't be here. Yeah. So I want them to take them under their wing and teach them the standard of playing defense here at Iowa.